Last time on Fate Extra. And welcome back to Fate, Fate, Haha! <laughs> Fate, Fate Extra. Well, ah, shit. Boy, I'm not doing very good at this. Hey, I got it. So, you're my first opponent. Oh, that's a writer. She's a writer, yep. With her armada to back me up, I'm invincible. You must be pretty confident to give out information about your servant to an enemy, Mato. As I wasn't hiding, Shinji sees me right off! <laughs> oh, Gawain? Ah, how forgetful of me. Gawain, introduce yourself. I am his servant, Gawain. I am pleased to meet you and hope you will be a worthy foe. Greetings, my beautiful viewers! I am the Hunter of Comedy, and welcome back to Fate Extra! So, last time... Should I say Fate Slash Extra or just Fate Extra? I'm not- I'm not really sure. I- I- I'm trying some things. It may- it may change throughout the series. But, either way, welcome back. Last time, we found out some information about, um, Shinji and his armada. Oh, what up? Hey, Shinji. Hey, look who the cat dragged in. I never expected to run into you. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? I'm just messing with you. The library is the best place to find info. I know all about you, so I expect you to go all out against me. I doubt that. But enough about me. It looks like you're having a hell of a time finding the book you want. Unfortunately for you, I've thankfully taken every book about my servant and hid them. I thought you'd have more fun this way. I hid everything somewhere in the arena. I wonder if a weak sauce master like you will be able to find them. <laughs> By the way, what does your servant want in return for helping you? Money, right? I knew it. My, my servant isn't asking for anything in return. My servant just wants to, you know, win. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Do your best while you still can. <laughs> Welp, see you around. Good luck. I hope you'll put up a little more of a fight next time we meet in the arena. You're starting to bore me. Well, ain't he a dickbag? Hey, Leo. Hakuno Kishi. Congratulations on making it to the main co uh, main tournament. Your first opponent is Shinji Mato, I believe. Be cautious around him, as I hear his servant is powerful. Oh, it seems you don't fully accept that our previous school life was a convenient farce. Let's see, since fate has made us companions, perhaps I should explain things to you, shall I? Uh, yes, please, let's see what he has to say. Let's get started. Do you know what a reality marble is? It's a thaumaturgical technique whereby one space is transformed into a completely different space. Some servants are able to generate reality marbles. As it takes a great deal of energy to, to sustain a reality marble, most only lasts for a few minutes. The school that housed the prelims happened to be a reality marble generated by the Holy Grail. And besides the school as it appeared in the prelims, uh, besides the school as it appeared in the prelims, the current school, the arena, and the Colosseum, all are individual reality marbles created by the incredible magic of the Holy Grail. That's actually pretty fucking terrifying, which is like, imagining that if a servant can do it for a few seconds, but the Holy Grail can basically keep it up 24-7 for, like, weeks? Because, like, yeah, this game takes weeks to get through? I think, like, six weeks. Then, yeah, and, and, and like, and it's not even exhausting anywhere near its, like, you know, power? Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty powerful relic. To give you an idea just how powerful the Holy Grail is, even though this advanced supercomputer couldn't sustain one reality marble this length of time. All the participants in the Holy Grail War had their memories wiped upon entering. Then the Holy Grail's reality marble gave all the participating uh, school personas to gave, gave all the participants school personas to inhabit. Masters had a time limit of four days who realized they had been tricked into playing a role. Potential masters had to pass that basic test to enter into the Holy Grail War. Although Tosaka seemed to shake off her yoke very quickly, 
By the way, Miss Fujimura and Issei Ryudo aren't masters. They're NPCs with specific roles. The masters who did not break free of the fantasy were dealt were dealt death. Tragic, but the Holy Grail War itself is a lengthy process of culling the weak. A word of advice. Learn all you can. I assure you that information will benefit you greatly later on. Well, thank you, Leo. That's very nice of you. You did not have to tell me all of that. Oh, there was a thing there. I missed the, the question mark. About Gawain. Ah. One of the major knights mentioned in uh, the Arthurian Circle and often thought to be King Arthur's nephew. Equal in skill to Lancelot, he served as an advisor to Arthur. He was at odds with Lancelot due to his slaying of both of Gawain's brothers. Due to his overwhelming nobility and youthful impetuousness, he placed his family ties above all else. It was Sir Gawain's hatred of Lancelot that eventually led to his and Arthur's eventual downfall. It was in the Battle of Camlin that Sir uh, Gawain fell, slain by Sir Lancelot. Oh boy. Yeah, apparently in the legends, like he, um, he got it got pretty bad in the Arthurian legends, man. Ah, my beloved kendo sword! You actually found it! Thank you! By the way, I hate to ask you for another favor, but... Akino, do you think you could uh, do your lovely teacher one more teensy favor? Sure, why not? Really? Oh, thank you. Truth be known, I really need a tangerine stat. There should be a tangerine on the second floor of the arena. If you could get it for me before uh, the end of the first round, it'd be, I I'd be ecstatic. If you manage to get it, I'll give you a fabulous decoration for your private room. Good luck. Well, thank you. You already have a cipher key. Excellent. You'll soon get the other one at this rate. The second floor is where you'll find the secondary trigger. Head to the arena. You should be able to go to a new floor. I've said my piece. Oh, I almost forgot to ask. Have you set foot in the chapel yet? Uh, leave it to a priest to tell us to go to the chapel. The system's uh, jurisdiction doesn't penetrate that far, but you can strengthen your servant there. Well, I've said my piece. Go and slaughter to your heart's content. I think I will do just that. Not the slaughtering to my heart's content. I'm gonna go to the chapel. Hello, miss. School buildings are always chaotic. I understand why, but it's nice to come here and relax. Oh, that's nice. Oopsie. To the chapel! Push open the heavy door to the chapel and go inside, where it is dark and eerily silent. I get this strange feeling that this place is completely cut off from the rest of the world. There's no one in the pews. As I get used to the dim light, a flash of color hurts my eyes. Those two women, they don't act like sisters. Why are they here? Hey there! Welcome to the chapel! You're here to perform an alteration of the soul? Oh, you're that, uh, what was it again? Ah, uh, I can't remember the last time I forgot something. Um, so, um, these, these characters are from a different universe, technically, as, uh, the, uh, it, it's all within the Nas, uh, the Nasuverse, which is like, you know, uh, uh, Nasu is the, the last name of the guy who made the Fate series. And, like, he made a bunch of other different series that, like, technically they're they're all, like, running parallel to each other in just, like, different, like, worlds and different timelines. And I've never seen the one that they're from, but I know that Toko appears in um, several of them, uh, several of the other ones. But her appearance is drastically different. I mean, in this game, obviously, she has blue hair and blue eyes. In the other one, she has, like, bright red hair, like her sister. Like, you know, like, the, like these, these, uh, the, these are the Aozaki sisters, so... Well, it's not like the details matter. And the more test subjects, the better, I always say. Welcome to the Eden of the East. I assume you're here for an alteration of the soul. Alteration of the soul? What is that supposed to mean? Uh, realizing I have no clues as how to answer, she continues talking. 
You don't know what the alteration of the soul is, but you came here anyway? <laughs> Amateur. Alteration of the soul? What is it, you ask? Simply put, you link your soul to your servants. When a master's rank increases, we can strengthen the link. Uh, that's done by hacking into each soul and choosing what to improve. Hooray! In Alteration of the Soul, you can improve your servant's stats by using skill points w earned when leveling up. In addition, once a certain number of uh, uh, skill points, SP, is used, your servant will acquire powerful special skills. Be sure to strengthen your servant before an elimination battle. Well, it's like my sister said. My job is to perform alterations made possible by various events. Sister? Are those two really related? I was about to ask if they were really sisters, but a sudden wave of hatred from the two stops me. You get the gist of it, right? If you want to do an alteration of the soul, let me know. As for the creature over there, she's totally useless. Like 8-track tapes, or the... <laughs> C colon back uh, forward slash prompt. And you're lower than dirt. Don't screw up or the moon cell will come down on you again. God, how many times do I have to tell you that the master was, was at fault that time? They specifically told me to do quasi level alterations, so I added a few extra skills. Laugh now, but it wouldn't be funny to be the one who lost because you're, as of your towering incompetence. Listen well, girl. If you value your life, don't put any trust in that thing's abilities. If I were you, I'd stick to uh, regaining the spiritual statuses your servant may have lost. Yeah, they they don't like each other much. They tried to kill each other in their apparent in their original timeline, apparently. Redhead Sitter is less uh, than useless. Actually, it's more... Uh, Oko Ozaki isn't uh, really suited for this particular task. Even a pseudo-magus like me can see that. For some reason, I thought all things servant-related were more... Uh, the uh, preserve of Toko Ozaki. What was that? Oh, yes, I'm far more skilled at, alter at alterations than Oko. Uh, than the Aoko. By a factor of ten or so. <sighs> hey, having to take Toko's abuse every day. I'll try to control my rage for now. Even as she says that, I can see veins popping on uh, Aoko Ozaki's clenched fists. But aren't you exaggerating a little? I mean, ten times? I'm amazed that uh, Aoko didn't immediately throttle Toko after her snide and offensive comment. Why are you so surprised? And I wasn't trying to be snide, merely honest. In this case, shutting up and accepting her place is beneath... Uh, uh, accepting, her, accepting her place is beneath me is the only thing Aoko can do. Anko gnashes her teeth in rage, but if Toko is so talented, why isn't she doing the alterations? I have other things to attend to, not to mention all the stuff uh, uh, Kokuto dumped on me. Right now, I'm simply keeping an eye on my lowly sister so she doesn't accidentally kill someone. So just ignore me. If you need to perform an alteration of the soul, ask the monkey over there. Interesting. Well then, what do you uh, what do you uh, what do you say we try an alteration of the soul right now? Let's go for it. The lowest thing I have is magic, raises magic ability and lowers magical da uh, lowers damage from magic agility, stabilizes damage stat, raises speed uh, skill speed. Okay, lowers damage done by enemies. Okay, and the strength obviously. What was... Oh, okay, that was going up to a higher level. Ah, oh, so every time it goes up by five, it goes up to a new rank. Okay. Hmm. I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll put a lot more into strength for now, because it'll definitely... Like, you know, like, 
These are definitely going to be important later on, but for right now, I kind of need more power and more defense. Because I don't have anything special that I can use. Veil of Petals. I got a special attack. Ooh. Good. Some of my former glory has been restored. Superb tempering. I shall repay your fine efforts. But now, need another alteration. Now we're good. Uh, but I'm, I'm a lot more powerful now than I was before. Oh boy. I, I, ri I up my power a lot. Ah, so now there's something going on. There's something going on in the garden. When I go to look, I see Shinji causing trouble again. It appears that Shinji is being thrown out of the chapel after angering that old man. A chapel is for quiet reflection. I do not know who your god is, but you should know that much. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. I'm an atheist. Swear to God. Hmm. I've always believed that the Japanese were polite. I guess I was misled. Leave this place at once. The gates of heaven will remain closed to the unbeliever. It appears that in your haste to learn how to fight, you forgot to learn dignity and respect. I really hate old geezers like you, always talking down to me. And when it comes time to fight, you can bet your ass I'll be teaching you a thing or two. Hmm. Well, that was interesting. I, I like I like that scene because, um, you know, like most of the most of the other servants we see will we'll have to fight at some point. So yeah, we're definitely going to be going up against the old man at some point. All right. Now that that's all done. Oh. Uh, second uh, cipher key has been generated on the second floor. Hooray! Second key has been created. I need to get it uh, before the battle three days from now. I always like to get them, like, right off the bat, because you may as well, you know? Alrighty, we go to the arena! Oh. I should say before I go in there, just in case. Because I've, I've done a lot. Ooh, the second floor. Greed and lust combine to burst into brilliance and lead onward to a sepletcher of the sea. Wow. Hmm. I sense an unpleasant aura. They must be lurking somewhere nearby. It'd be a catastrophe if they attack us from behind while we return to campus. We should face head on now. Master, we should locate the book that lowly extra hid here before they suspect what we're up to. Alright, let's see how uh, my up to attack power will do. Ah, damn it. Holy hell! Yeah, my attack power is so much better now! Oh my god! Oh, also? Sometimes there's hidden places like that. Like, it, it's always best to, like, look, check the walls and everything to see if there are, like, hidden ways through. Because if there's, like, a, a room that's, like, hidden off somewhere, there's definitely, like, a hidden passage to get to it. Holy hell! Dude! Like, upping my power was definitely, like, like the best decision I could have made. Holy fuck. Oh, 
Well, that thing's new. Taking a stab at it. Oh shit. <laughs> Got him. So these guys can be pretty powerful, but Oh, good, they offer a good deal of experience, too. Hooray! Activating switch now! Um, but yeah, a lot of different enemies are pretty powerful, but, you know, because of my, in my increased attack power now, oh my god, like, you know, I'm doing really well. Yep, there's another one. Remember that there's... Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, it's just, like, blatantly right here. There we go. Find ourselves a nice little path down to the bottom we did. He's a bee! Oh, no! Bees! It's like that Cards Against Humanity card. Bees? Well, like, it has a question mark. Oh, they're, they're, they're worth so much experience. Those bees are, are, are definitely worth, like, killing. Because they give so much experience, man. Oh, my God. Like, just like... And like you're like once you like like learn some of their patterns and everything, even before like you you figure out what all of their moves are, you know, like it, it, they're not too terribly difficult to figure out once you just watch them for a little bit. I actually like that. I like that all enemies have like a pattern, but it's not always the same pattern. Like sometimes they change it up just to throw you off, and I like that. Oh damn! Like that. I was almost positive I knew what the pattern was, but I was wrong. So my goal, um, before, um, we, uh, officially, like, you know, like, get to the battle with Shinji is to be at minimum level 10, maybe up to, like, like, you know, like, like 15 at the highest, but, like, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm gonna grind that much, you know? Oh, that's right. Um, Saber got a skill. Um, I think I'll wait because I don't want to, I don't want her to use up all of her, um, uh, her MP so quickly. Plus, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to deal with Shinji, because, um, you know, Miro said that, you know, he was, you know, here somewhere, so I'm guessing that we're gonna have, like, a fight with him, so I'll show you what that's like when I actually fight his servant here in a little bit, so I think that'll be for the best. By the way, I, I just love the fact that, like, like, Miro is technically shorter than the protagonist. Like, the protagonist is short, man. But, like, Nero's even shorter than the protagonist, which is why Nero said, don't talk about my height. I love it. That is a horse. That's like a horse with, like, mantis claws. Mantis horse. Horse mantis. Hormus. Manors. It's a manors. A man. Manors. Oh, God, no. Mantors. Mantors. This is a mantors. Go, Nero! Kill the Mantors! Holy hell! This thing's got a lot of health! Wow, I got lucky! I just guessed and I got them all! 
Oh, he's worth a lot, too. Nice. Nero, I demand further entertainment. Let's see here. Okay. Alrighty, so we're gonna take this path here. Praetor, there is a suspicious hidden passageway here. What do you say uh, we see where it leads? Hmm, seems like uh, a place that boy would favor for a hiding place. Praetor, I highly recommend you open that box immediately. Ooh, nice. There it is. This is the book that Shinji was desperate to hide. Uh, uh, was desperate to keep hidden. Appears to be some sort of diary written on Sheev's parchment. It's so old that the ink has begun to fade, but I'm able to read the name of a ship, the Golden Hind, and the names of several islands, the, the partial manifest of hijacked ships. This must be the ship's log of a pirate that sailed the high seas. Hmm, must have been conducted with a fairly powerful program since Shinji was obviously unable to delete this folder and had to hide it here. Mm. Without a doubt, this must be connected to the servant in some way. It is a pity her true name isn't legible, but this book should prove a useful clue as to her identity. Damn, I didn't expect you to find it so easily, Hakuno! I went through all the trouble of bringing it down here. Oh well, just have to take it back now. Oh, activate the switch. Sure. Ah, so there was, uh, so that was sealed off there anyway. Okay. Well, it looks like Shinji's coming for me. Let's say we get uh, one more battle in here before he gets here, huh? Alrighty. Nice, so I got three more skill points to use. That's nice. Well, he's on the way now, so let's see. There we go. Yep, there he is. Let's do it. You must be getting really desperate if you're searching for it in a place like this. I mean, I was gonna come here anyway. I don't know why you think that. Like, I will hide it in the place where everyone needs to go in order to complete the tournament. They'll never suspect to look for it there. Anyway, too bad for you. You came all this way just for me to take that book away from you. <laughs> so you finally slithered onto the stage, you lowly bit player. Praetor. I want you to bear witness as to what obtaining information in the Holy Grail War truly means. Yep. Based on your infor uh, on your information matrix level, you will be able to see more of your opponent's chosen actions. Be sure to use the information you've gathered to its fullest and devise a plan of action to defeat your opponent. Okay, we've only got one. So we've got the one. But now, check this out. Anytime I choose to use a skill, it overrides their turn. I'm not gonna, like, do, like, you know, if you have enough, like, literally, like, if I had enough, I could do every slot like that, but I don't have enough, so... Yeah, that's fine. Those two... Oh, also, like, I can choose to use items in a slot, too. Like, and just, like, on whichever turn I would like. Which which happens um, at the same time as whatever uh, skill my servant chooses to do. <laughs> Here we go. Veil of Petals. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's not good. Mm. 
I just gotta survive a couple more turns. I made my luck go down, which all that really does is make it so I don't uh, critical as often. Damn. All right, last round. Oh, shit. I'm doing a lot more damage to her than she's doing to me, which is good. No way. How could I possibly get hurt? D don't start getting cocky now. Anyway, the Seraph is watching. I'll be victorious in the end. An excuse truly befitting of one so pitiful. But more importantly, I've reached a number of conclusions. First of all, the item relating to our enemy servant is definitely a ship log. Secondly, based on the ship's battery she had just revealed, if her prowess with vehicles is so advanced, that means that without a doubt she is a rider. Got to level three. Now that you've obtained that... Uh, the book that the frail man tried to hide, we can leave this place without any problems. If you wi if you wish, we can go and obtain the trigger today, or return and rest for the day. Do whatever you think is best. I think we'll go get the trigger today, we may as well, since we're here. I also like to fill out, like, the whole map, because that's just a thing. I don't like leaving my map, um... Uh, like, unfulfilled, you know, because I like to fulfill my map. Ha <laughs> ha! Healing! I don't think there's very much of this place left either, so, you know. Easy to get this all done. Ah, I got less experience for that fight, but uh, that makes sense because you you know uh, when you get stronger, they 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 give you less experience for battles so that you can't like power level too much, you know. And like while I understand that, I've always hated that system in video games purely because it's like it's like oh this enemy and, and like the thing is like I get it because it makes sense, you know. I mean. Like, the best, the, 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 the absolute best way to put it is that, like, you know, you're stronger, so fighting weaker enemies shouldn't give you as much, like, power and experience as it used to. I get that. That makes sense. But at the same time, you know, like, like, oh, this enemy gives, like, 45 experience. Like, yo, I've beaten a bunch of them, so they give less experience now. I'm like, yeah, you know, game-wise, like, that makes sense. But... Like, sorry, like, like reality-wise, that makes sense. Like, you know, the more you fight something, the easier it becomes, the less you earn from fighting them. Like, that makes sense, but, like, it's a video game as well, so I kind of don't like the fact that it's, like, I can't power level early on like I can in, like, some other games. So, yeah. So, I, I am, as I've mentioned many times, I'm a power leveler. I like to be as, as super powerful as I can be. Oh, there's another bee here. Oh, I didn't. I almost didn't notice there was another bee. Oh well. Where are you going? Okay. Attack! Ow! I got him! Yay! I love being so super powerful. I'm so happy I up my attack power. Oh, I got the tangerine! Um, that's the thing I needed to get for, uh, Miss, uh, Fujimura. Um, so I know that this doesn't really affect it in, like, your standard game here, like, that I'm playing, but, like, in, uh, New Game Plus, if you get all these items, you get access to, like, an extra dungeon. Like, you know, you don't have to go there, it's just mostly for, like, like, leveling, like, you know, like, at, like, pretty much, like, the end game boss, you know? Because you can't really, like, the one thing I, I, I don't 
think you can fight the optional boss on your first playthrough, but let me double check. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh, I'm in trouble. Yeah, I think now is the best time to pull out all the stops here. There we go. Veil of Petals! Oh, it blocked. Fuck me. Oh boy, that thing was tough, but it's worth a lot of the XP, so definitely worth it. So, what I was trying to say was that, um, unfortunately you can't fight, like, this extra boss that's really powerful, but really cool, in your first playthrough. You have to do it on, like, a second playthrough, and that sucks, because, you know, a playthrough takes a long time, you know, it's a JRPG. So, like, I really want to show that to you guys, so that would mean that, on my own time, I would have to replay, like, basically I would have to beat the game, go and do, like, you know, like, replay the game, get to the extra dungeon, and then do that, which, you know, here's the thing. This game technically has two routes, like, you know, you can go through. If you really want me to, I can show you the second route and the extra dungeon in, like, an extra episode or something if you guys really want me to. Just let me know if you guys want me to do that, or if you just want me to just play the, like, the regular first playthrough and everything, I understand that too. Just let me know what you guys would like me to do. Yeah, I got the trigger! So this must be the second required cipher key, or trigger, if you insist on using the common vernacular. If we want to find the triggers, we need to thoroughly explore the arena. We must also take this out. We must take this as a priority, Master. Alrighty, so I've got I've got the triggers. I've completed everything I need to do today. I think that, like, um, I believe that, uh, the next day is mostly just, like, a training day. So, I think that we'll probably head back for now, and I'll do, uh, the training on a diff- and I'll do, like, my leveling up and everything the next day. Well, I- I'll go and I'll quickly get up to level 8, because I'm so close to that, so I can power myself up again. And then- yeah, and then, like, tomorrow we'll- I'll take some time and I'll do some, uh, leveling, um, like, you know, like, off-screen. That way you guys don't have to sit here and watch me, like, do this all the time, but... Yeah, um, I'll quickly up to get up to level 8, and then we'll continue on with the story. Alrighty, up to level 8. Level up Ha ha ha. Alright, we are heading back. Excellent. They tasted my blade. I'll continue to let loose their blood if you lo if you loose their secrets. However, we can't win against them with information alone. Be diligent in your training. Wait. 85%? I haven't completely explored that one yet? I thought I did. Well, I, mean, I must have missed something. Alrighty, the logbook. Yep. Ooh, anti-magic D. Cancels a single... M ah... Sing cancel single action spells. Ooh, also bestows magical resistance equal to the to normally provided by a physical talisman such as a talisman. Oh wow. Yeah. 
Save your progress, I would love to do that. Alrighty, I believe that today is just regular training day. Oh. Oh, right, this guy. Oh, like, like, the, the, the two that, uh, joined as, like, a couple. Oh, boy. I mean, don't you know that only one person can win? No, that seems really irresponsible. Also, you must not love each other if you're doing that. Uh, I was doing research on my honey's opponent when I realized I knew nothing about my own. Fortunately, my servant is pretty powerful, so I'll be alright for now, but later on? Oh, no. Thanks, my wonderful darling. I got a bunch of information on my opponent. I didn't do anything, but he somehow found out the true name of my opponent's servant. I know you're jealous. Who knows, someday you'll find... Uh, 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 someday you'll find someone as, dar as wonderful as my darling. Yeah, you're just kind of using him, because you're a, a bitch. The moment I tried to enter the arena, it felt like I ran into a wall. And I was flung backwards. Seems someone put up a barrier. Hmm. It appears someone is afraid of a fair fight. It can only be one person. Yep, there he is. Hey there! Looks like you've been hitting the arena pretty hard. Toughened up yet? I was bored, so I decided to set a few little surprises here and there. My bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm actually doing bottom-feeding masters like Hakuno a favor. The arena is a dangerous place. But if you must go to the arena, you'll need to track down the two magic sigils I set. However, once you make it into the arena, I'll crush you like a cockroach. Show up if you dare. See you later. Oh, and where are my magic sigils, you ask? Oh, find them yourself, loser. <laughs> I'd give anything to be able to eviscerate that son of a bitch. Sadly, the rules won't allow it. It looks like the door is sealed, but it's actually an anomaly in the area's programming code. The signals are like uh, tributaries feeding a river. Unless we block the flow, the seal will remain. Praetor, arduous though it may be, we must find the two locations where he placed those sigils. Right. Fortunately, Shinji is stupid and literally left one of them out in the open. <sighs> one of the sigils used to make the barrier has been deleted. That's one down. We need to find the other magic sigil. Let's check where he's been skulking. Master, have you been taking advantage of the square button? No. Pressing it will bring up the last place, the list of places you can visit. Oh, I'm sure you'll find this useful information. I think, I think you owe me a word of thanks. Well, thank you, best girl, definitely. Hmm. Yeah, that that will make this a lot easier. Getting around is uh, a lot easier when you can just basically teleport. And I'm gonna go to Shinji's desk, which it's right there. Oh my God, really, Shinji? Really, dude? You really thought that was going to work? One of the sigils used to make the barrier has been deleted. We found the second one. Enough of these stupid games. Let's hurry to the arena. I will make our foes suffer for the unforgivable sin of annoying me. But first, to the ch to the chapelle! I know I'm kind of putting all my eggs into one basket here. I know I'm doing that. But trust me, I I's, I's know what I was doing. I definitely know what I was doing. Ooh, a font of the saint, huh? Wonder what that does. Oh, okay, uh, just increases my general attack power with the attack action. Okay, cool. Sadly, with the rock, paper, scissors way of battling, that's not terribly efficient, you know, to waste, you know, magic on that. Alrighty. Hmm. I got here faster than I expected. But all that means is they didn't collect enough treasure. 
What? What does that mean? To the second floor of the arena! Indeed. And since I think that from what I've gathered, like, you know, I believe that today is just a training day, um, I'll let you know if anything happens, but I think that I'm just gonna do a little bit of, uh, leveling up and, you know, getting myself to be a little bit more powerful. I wanna see how much power I have now. HOLY SHIT! MY GOD! I am, like, almost one-shotting these things! Oh, and now they're worth so much less than they were before. That makes sense. Oh, boy, oh, boy. But, yeah, like I said, I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of leveling up here, so I'll be back in just a bit, and I'll see... Oh, well, sorry. I will show you the fruits of my labor. Two hours later. Alrighty, so... I got up to level 11 and then decided to call it good because we still got one more day in the arena that we're going to be doing things in. So I plan to get up to level 12 um, for the uh, battle against uh, Shinji here. And I think that we're going to do pretty well. Pretty, pretty well. But yeah, as I got in here, I realized I had I had stopped recording. And so I had to start up the recording again. So sorry about that. Just pop it in here. Um, but here we go. Ryder's master has become skittish around you. Whether you like it or not, only one day of prep period remains to acquire triggers and train. Do your due diligence tomorrow, and you will thank yourself in the elimination battle. How is it that I've only completed 85% of, you know, that map? As far as I know, I've gone everywhere. I look for all secret places, too. And I'll have to check it tomorrow and make sure I get it. Alright. So we figured out that um, she's a writer, but we still don't know. Well, she's a writer. She was obviously some kind of pirate or affiliated with pirates. Alright, our last prep day. So tomorrow is the day of the elimination battle. Have you done everything you need to do? The enemy master is... Uh, va vacuous? Vacuous. Okay. That's an interesting word. Showing a lack of intelligence. Oh. She has such a great vocabulary. I love Nero. The enemy master is vacuous. But underestimating such a competent servant would be foolhardy. It is true. Like, Shinji's a fucking idiot, but his servant? Oh, yeah, th this... At the very least, the servant is a problem. Here's your fucking tangerine! And for your dedication, as promised, be sure not to lose it or anything. I got a lamp! That's nice! Now, I know what you guys are thinking. I know what you guys are thinking. Why are you putting so much into strength and not much into anything else? Because I has a strategy. I believe that I can take down this servant with strength alone. Now the other servants, hell no. The other servants, no. You definitely need other shit. But... I'm going all in on strength right now for this first battle. Just because I want to. <laughs> um, besides, like when when we fought her there in the um, uh, when we fought um, Ryder in like the actual battles, everything that's about as strong as she gets. She's not terribly powerful. Shinji, what did I say earlier? I won't work without reward. What? Want more money? You greedy money grubber. Compliment accepted. I'm a pirate mercenary. The brighter my pile of gold, the more gusto behind my gun. All right already. Jeez, just hold your horses. 
I hacked into the arena and got it to generate more treasure, so... Oh, why, hello, little girl. Fancy meeting you here. Hakuno, you're eavesdropping on me? Well, whatever. Now you know. Some treasure we generated on the second floor of the arena. You didn't have to say which floor. Yeah, you really fucked up there. My servant gets stronger the more she gets paid. Well, if you want any, you better get there before me. Hmm, bold words, Shinji. But can someone like you really snatch all the treasure first? No, you can't. You're nothing more than a hapless, twisted knave. You... You just called me a knave? You don't get to talk to me like that, you ungrateful servant! Okay, Hakuno, meet you there. Even if you get there first, all the treasure will be mine! <laughs> Did you hear that, Master? It is treasure that magnifies the strength for that servant. Pure lust is at times a beautiful thing, but it leaves such a bad taste in my mouth to see her pursue it. I myself admire the trappings of wealth. Shall we adorn said finery as... Uh, shall we adorn said finery as we weaken our enemy? I definitely agree. We shall wear their jewels right in front of them. Alrighty. Hunting! Treasure hunting. Due to Shinji's hacking, you'll have to participate in treasure hunt on the second floor. During this event, for every item folder found by Shinji, his, uh, his spirit's uh, his servant's strength will be increased by a certain amount. Thanks to Shinji's interference, the locations of the folders will change. Uh, find them before someone else does. But it, it shows me exactly where they are, though. Like, exactly where they are. <laughs> so you came after all. Don't worry, I'll keep the extent of your greed a secret, Hakuno. Since we're both here, why don't we have a little competition to see who can to see who can find the most treasure. Haha, <laughs> I'll be sure to go easy on you, so no need to take this thing too seriously. And of course they get a head start. Eh, <laughs> let's see how much power I got now. HOLY SHIT! I can almost one-shot those guys! Not that I really need to, considering how, you know, like, little experience they give me now. Oh shit, I didn't take the shortcut. Oh no! Now well, they got the first one. Alright, this is the first one. I know that a thing you can do, though, is you can confront them and stop them. Because if you can catch up to them, you fight them and then they leave, so yeah. Okay. Yeah, she wants more. Oh boy. Crap. So how can all you manage to make it this far? Well, I have to give you kudos for keeping up with me. It's impressive, especially for one of the proletariat. Proletariat. Oh. Whoever like translated this game used very big vocabulary. I mean, and, and like, I appreciate that, but at the same time, I'm like, damn. This is where your pathetic struggle will end. You bumped into me, after all. 
Sorry, but it's game over, man. All right. Get going, L Rider. You've got your treasure, so get to work. L Rider? Well, that's Spanish. Well, we knew she was Spanish anyway. Jeez, what a pain in the ass. And by the way, this miserable little pittance hardly qualifies as treasure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. This is just my job. No hard feelings, little girl. Level three. Hey, that's pretty good for level three. I'm literally just seeing like how much damage I can do in a single turn. Let's find out. Ooh, that's not bad. And this is definitely like, you know, foreshadowing, um, like what the actual battle will be like. Holy shit, I'm doing pretty damn good here. Not perfect. Hmm. Ah, damn, I got stunned. Oop. Oh, last turn. Oh, shit. Holy shit! I almost beat her! No, not that! Damn it, how could I? Hey, don't get so cocky! Anyway, this was a thousand year fluke! Ryder, what the hell were you thinking losing like that? You were holding back, weren't you? Holding back? Of course I was. What? <sighs> Even if I were to actually take this seriously, I did the best I could, all things considered. At best, I'm just a hired gun. I can't do much more than what I'm told. Anyway, you haven't paid me yet. Are you saying it's my fault that you lost? Not exactly. But if that's how you see it, then maybe there's some truth in that regard? Oh god, I love her! She's great! Yeah, yeah. To be perfectly honest, I'm not really satisfied, but there's no need for you to worry about that, cherry boy. Running out of ammo because of someone's magical deficiency can't be helped, so I'm kind of expected this. I kind of expected this. Oh! Shinji doesn't have enough magical energy to keep supplying her with ammo for her guns. Oh, shit. That's good for us, bad for him. Shut your hole, you trigger-happy bitch! We lost solely because of your recklessness! There's no way in hell you're better than me! You know that, right? Right? Um, is it really a good idea to say stuff like that? Even in this form, I'm nothing more than a merchant. I won't miss words when something of value is at stake. <sighs> I'm not listening to you! Stop talking and let's get out of here! Better win next time! Aye aye, Roger Wilco and whatnot. Just be damn sure you have enough ammunition on hand, got it? Being in debt goes against everything I stand for. Damn. Well, certainly learned a lot about them there, we did. That's all we really needed uh, for here. Well, we can actually now go collect the... Um, the other three treasures, and apparently they sell for a lot of money, so... See, but I told you my strategy of going just all power wasn't a bad one. 
I mean, sure, it could have backfired very easily if I'd have fucked up, but I didn't fuck up. Everything's fine, you know? I got the pirate booty! I mean, but that's not true because Ryder left. I don't have her booty. Ha <laughs> ha! But instead, I have, you know, I have Nero's booty, which is even better. I mean, like, I can see through her pants. <laughs> God, it's so... Like, I can't wait, because I don't think we've got to the explanation of that in the game yet, because, um, oh my god. I, I love, like, when, when we get to it, her explanation for why her pants are, like, you know, like, why her dress is see-through is beautiful, and I don't want to spoil it until then. And pirate booty number D. Pirate booty number three! We have all of the pirate booty. Alrighty, so I've got all the pirate booty. I believe that's all I need to do, so I am actually going to... I'm going to take a little bit of time here and get up to level, uh, like, level 12. And I think this is probably the best place to call it for this episode so that I can just focus on that because in the next episode, we are going to be going up against Shinji himself. We're going to be doing the elimination battle and everything, and that while that's going to take a little bit of time, I don't know if it'll take, like, the entire episode and everything. We may get a little bit into the next chapter. But either way, thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I appreciate you being here with me. Next time, like I said, we're going to be taking on Shinji in the elimination battle, and one of us is going to die. And I hope it's not me. <laughs> I do just gotta say though, I am really enjoying replaying this game. It's been a long time since I played this, and I've, I've just been, I've been enjoying it so much. It's been so good like, to like hop back into this for like a hot second and like really enjoy it, especially with like, you know, there's a remake of this game coming out. I'm not sure if it's gonna be out next year. Like, you know, like, like, so, well, actually this year now is 2021. Like, I'm not sure if it's gonna be out like, you know, in 2021 or if it's gonna be out later. I really don't know. But, either way, when that comes out, I definitely want to play that, and so I wanted to play this first. So, I hope you guys are enjoying it, and if you're enjoying it as much as I am, please like, comment, subscribe it if you are not already, ring that bell for all them notifications is, and until next time, have yourselves a beautiful day, my beautiful, beautiful viewers! <laughs>